Are you coming to Fortaleza and you are worried about the violence here, the crimes, things like this? Stay with me in this video. Um, I'm a native, okay, here, lived over the last 35 years. And I'll say the truth about it. And I will tell you the place you should avoid in Fortaleza, things you should avoid uh, to not be caught uh, unexpectedly and not to be paranoid too, okay? So let's go. First of all, is Fortaleza dangerous? Well, if you put a Google, you will see Fortaleza is one of the most dangerous places in the world and the most dangerous capitals. It's, it's the truth, okay? No matter what they try to say is not, oh my god, it's not, it's, okay? And if you ask anybody that lives here, they will say that it's true. If you go to the streets, you see big walls, okay? Separating the houses, okay? So, every, <laughs> every place you look, you see it's a dangerous environment, okay? Um, but don't be paranoid, okay? Don't be paranoid. It's not a thing that all oh, everybody's shooting every time in the street. It's gunshot every time. No, it's not like this, okay? The majority of the kills and the crimes are located in the suburbs. Not the suburbs, but I mean gangs crime, okay? Things like this. Um, what you should avoid is walking with cell phone in the middle of the street like um, a gringo do normally because they live in USA, Europe and you can do this at Wilder, okay? Nothing will happen. Here uh, in Fortaleza the crimes are a little bit different, okay? They uh, are generally are on two per persons in a motorcycle with guns, okay? So because of a cell phone they can shoot you. That's the truth, okay? Just ask for anybody that lives here, they will say it's true, okay? Um, so it's not to be paranoid, just don't go in the streets um, like you are um, flying by, walk to, this, uh, to the sea with the cell phone and like this, okay? It's not like this here. Um, it's not, don't, don't get me wrong, it's not that you are gonna do this and immediately <laughs> and immediately they will uh, steal you. It's not like this too, it's not so extreme, but you have the risk, okay? First point, uh, in shopping centers there, are, there is private security and you can be safe there, okay? Next point, what streets and times you should avoid? Okay, try to avoid um, the neighborhoods outside the touristic environment that is Beira Mar, um, Beira Mar the, the beach, okay, and try to avoid um, streets outside Aldeota, that's a rich place too, but there are some favelas there too. Um, in general, uh, I'm not saying that <laughs> In, in these neighborhoods you will not have a problem because the, the violence is gen generalized it is in all over the place but if you try to avoid uh, neighborhoods outside these main places you have lower risks I think that something happens okay there is a uh, avenue that is very dangerous okay just uh, write this name a uh, Raul Barbosa Avenue Raul Barbosa Avenue is a very dangerous place. There are so many crimes there and try to avoid this avenue. Never take this avenue, okay? At night, what place you should avoid? Again, place outside the main to risk point, okay? Main to risk zone, okay? Because there are so many streets that lead to place that are so how can I say there are so dark and few people there and this place have a higher risk so stay always in the main avenues next to the tourist zone that is Beira Mar 
Meirelles, okay? uh, Aldeota, that little uh, niche there, okay? Um, if you are uh, by car, try to avoid Waze. The Waze app, he leads you to dangerous place, um, mainly, okay? Try to use Google Maps. Google Maps better. And select the main avenues function, okay? Main avenues. Try to avoid uh, Raul Barbosa Avenue, okay? Try to avoid. And if you are going to Coco Park, Iguatemi Shopping, um, go um, go by uh, Antonio Salles Avenue. Take this way, go straight ahead, turn to the right, okay? Go to with this route. So, if you have any questions, put in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like the, the video, and see you.